guys, Steve from CCL. Today we're taking a quick look at this. It's the Versus Sound Deck. It's a sound bar for your TV, but unlike most sound bars, this is designed to have your TV sat on top of it. So it supports TVs of up to 50 kilograms in weight. It's got 30 watt total RMS output, so that's a 15 watt sub and two 7.5 watt speakers. Uh, it's got remote control, auxiliary input functions, it's got all sorts going on with it, this. And it's a fantastic price. So if you're not happy with the sound that's coming out of your TV, if it's a little bit tinny, if there's not enough bass for you, this could make all those problems go away for a very, very low price. So let's move the camera and see what you get. Right, okay, so I've moved the camera now so we can get a better look at the sound deck. So obviously you've got a nice big picture on the front there giving you an idea of the actual profile and shape of the device. It tells us that it's a 2.1 TV speaker and subwoofer all in one setup, etc. On the top, it tells us that it's got two line imports now, so you can obviously connect it to your TV permanently, and then you can have another cable coming out at the side of your TV, so if you want to plug your phone in or anything like that, you can do that and listen to both. So if you flip the packaging round on the back, we've got some QR codes which you can scan on your phone, which are quite cool. So just bring that into shot, um, which you can scan these on your phone and give you a demo video that'll take you to the website, etc. We've got some nice chromed lettering on here. I don't usually point things out like that on a box, but for the actual price of this device, the actual uh, time and effort that's gone into the packaging is pretty good. So it shows us here that TV sits on top of the sound deck, so obviously given the, the size and weight of your TV, as long as it's a flat screen, it's less than 50 kilograms, so you sit that on top of there. It shows the actual layout of the device, so we've got the subwoofer, and then we've got the speakers towards the front. Looking at the actual diagram, I can already tell that it's a figure of eight power cable there, so a nice thin power lead. So slick integrated 15 watt speakers and subwoofer designed for your television stand, giving you the perfect TV audio experience, or TV and film audio experience, sorry. Um, flip it round. What I really liked about this, I don't know if we've got any uh, Seven fans out there, if you've seen the film Seven with Brad Pitt, where it says, what's in the box? Exclamation mark. Obviously, if you've not seen Seven, you're not going to get that. It's going to be wasted on you. Um, we've got a nice little carry handle, in case you want to take it to a friend's house, use it on their TV. Um, you can do. So, yeah, let's open it up and see what we get with it. Quite well packed. Here we have a figure of eight power leads. So we've got three pin plug and power lead there. We have the remote control. Let's get this out of the box. Out of the box, out of the bag, sorry. There we go. So we've got the remote control, runs on a watch battery. And obviously you can use it to turn the sound bar on and off. And it's also got a learn button there so you can use it to turn your TV on and off, etc. as well. So we've got the little remote control, pop that over there. We have our audio cables. Now, it comes with two audio cables, so obviously we've got a RCA, so left and right channel output into a 3.5mm jack, so if your TV or your surround sound or anything like that has an audio output for them, and then the input to the actual device. And then we've got this one, so it's a 3.5mm to 3.5mm jack, so if you want to plug your phone or anything like that, or even if your television's got a 3.5mm jack audio output, you can plug that straight into these. So two cables, so you've got the best of both worlds. Always good to see a manufacturer giving you a choice as opposed to just assuming what you'll have and need. So take those off. Take those off. We have our instruction book tapes to the bottom. So let's have a look. Obviously it's, it doesn't appear to be very thick, so I don't think it's war and peace in instructions. So quick instruction manual there. Does it look overly complicated? No. It doesn't look too complicated. It tells you there about learning the actual remote control to your remote control. So you point your remote at this remote, push certain buttons like the power on and off, etc. And this will learn the IR transmission so you can turn your TV on and off and whatnot. So I've got the instruction booklet as well. Let's have a look at the actual sound bar. Is it a sound bar? Is it a sound stand? They're calling it a sound deck. So I've got Okay, so first thing I notice is we've got a really nice, obviously, fabric grill there covering the actual speakers. So like a on the front of what you get with a normal stereo speaker or anything like that, we've got the nice fabric finish there. An incredibly glossy piano black, so the girlfriend will be really happy because I'm getting one of these. So more things for us to polish. Um, if we flip the unit upside down, you can see the actual subwoofer there. Obviously tells us that it's a sound deck. A little subwoofer, 15 watt RMS on the sub. We've got sound ports here. Uh, well, we've got one sound port, sorry, that one's actually blocked up, so it give you a nice bit of bass reproduction. We've got the three, three uh, sorry, the two three and a half mil inputs and the figure of eight lead, and then the two speakers at the front are actually hiding behind this grill. 
if we flip the unit and have a look at the top, we've got the source, so you can obviously change it from line one to line two. We've got the auto power, so I'm guessing that would be, obviously if your TV turns off or it's getting no sound, it'll turn itself off after a while. We've got the volume up and down. So we've got those two there. Now, what I might do is plug my, tele uh, plug my telephone, plug my mobile phone in, um, and actually see what the sound quality is like on this. So I'm just going to get some power to the device, and we'll uh, plug my phone in and see how it sounds. Right, okay, so I've got some power going to the unit now. So I'm going to use the 3.5mm jack to 3.5mm jack. I'm going to plug one end into source one, and I'm going to plug the other end into my Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So I've got all the equaliser settings turned off on the phone, and the volume is full on the actual sound bar. So I've got that on full. Um, obviously, it's, volume's halfway down on the phone, so we're just going to see how this sounds. Just let me double check that that's still full. Yeah. Right, okay, so that sounds, you know, obviously if you're just watching TV during the day and you're not having anything too loud, that sounds great. So I'm just going to pop the volume up to full on this and see how it sounds again. Okay, so that sounds really good. Um, obviously, I've got the RS bass function turned on, which you can turn off. So just to give you an example, as the song's playing, I'm going to turn it on, and then I'll turn it back off, and then I'll turn it off again, etc. So that's with it on. And that's with it turned off. So it takes the bass out there. So obviously, if you don't mind, I don't know why I'm shouting. I'll just pause it. Um, so obviously, you can turn the bass function off there, and you don't want to annoy your neighbours, or you've got kids in bed, or your parents are in bed, or your girlfriend's in bed, or your boyfriend's in bed, or you don't want to wake the dogs up. Um, you can turn the bass function off on there. Um, obviously, it sounds much better with it on. So I'm just going to turn it back on with the bass function on, and we're going to see if we can see the little subwoofer kicking up and down on the other side. To be honest, um, it sounds really good, um, and with the fact that you've got two optional inputs, so I'm just going to turn it back off now, uh, the fact that you've got two optional inputs, so you've got two 3.5mm jacks on the rear, you can actually just plug your phone or your MP3 player or anything else into it, and to be honest, with the actual sound that you're getting out of it, I think if you don't have room in your living room for a stereo or anything like that, I think this would make an ideal replacement for it as well. So the sound on there is good enough for you to use it instead of a stereo, um, or as well as a stereo. Um, but yeah, I'd say all in all, I'm really impressed with the sound quality of it. The bass reproduction on there is really nice as well. I don't know if obviously the camera's microphone is not going to do it any justice, but the actual bass reproduction coming from the Foo Fighters then was was really good. Um, the actual unit with a lot of people, because obviously a lot of staff have bought these because the price is fantastic, a lot of the staff were worried about putting their actual TV unit on top of it. Now the actual the unit itself is incredibly rigid. There's no creaks, there's no cracks, there's no nothing when you're putting any weight on that. So it will take, like I say, a TV up to 50 kilograms, perfectly fine. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say to be honest. If you could rate, comment and subscribe. My name's Steve. Thanks for watching.